You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car. Now let me be. Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Sam, oh Sam, oh Sam, I am. He doesn't want them, doesn't need them, wouldn't touch them, wouldn't eat them, wouldn't like them here or there. Or any, 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 anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Could you? Would you? On a train? No, not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. Not in a box with a box. Not with a mouse, not in a house. Not here or there, not anywhere. In the dark? Here in the dark? Would you? Could you? In the dark? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I would not, could not in the dark. Would you? Could you? In the rain? I would not, could not in the rain. Not in the dark, not in a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I would not like them, Sam, you see. Could you, with a goat? Mm -hmm. I would not, could not, with a goat. I will not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. Would you, could you, on a boat? <laughs> I would not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. Not in the rain, not on a train. like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them, and you will see. Green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam. I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain. And in the dark. And on a train. And in the car. And in a tree. They are so good. So good, you see. So I will eat them in a box. And I will eat them with a fox. He will eat them in a box. And he will eat them with a fox. And he will eat them in a house. And he will eat them with a mouse. And he will eat them here or there. Say he will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam I am. <laughs> Oh, at 
the edge of each ocean, you'll always find beaches, beautiful, glorious, glorious beaches. And when I meander on peacefulish beaches, I frequently find myself thinking of sneeches. Now the star-bellied sneeches had bellies with stars. But the plain-bellied sneeches had none upon Mars. No stars on their bellies. No stars upon Mars. Now those stars weren't so big. They were really quite small. You would think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star belly sneeches would brag. We're the best kind of sneech on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they'd snort. They'd have nothing to do with a plain belly sort. Ronald, remember, when you are out walking, you walk past a sneech of that type without talking. Keep your snoot in the air and remember to snort. We have no truck whatever with the plain bellied sort. When the star belly children went out to ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. You only could play if your bellies had stars, and the plain belly children had none upon Mars. Yeah, yeah, your belly's got no star. Twink, twink, twinkle, twinkle, lovely little star. Twink, twink, twinkle, twinkle, stupid little star. If there's one upon your tummy, that's just yummy, you're my chummy. If there isn't, you're a crummy, slummy, gummy, bummy, dummy. That applies likewise to daddy and your mommy. Stupid little star. When the star belly sneeches had frankfurter roasts, or picnics, or parties, or marshmallow toasts, they never invited the plain belly sneeches. They left them out cold in the dark of the beaches. From the heights of Muba Muba to the gullies of Gazoo, there is nobody else who has one. We're the favorite few who do. And so a toast, raise your marshmallow stick. A toast, raise your good fellow stick. And toss the glorious gimmicky that makes us what we are. Sound off and let the welkin ring. In praise of our exclusive thing. A toast, raise your marshmallow stick. A toast, raise your good fellow stick. A toast to your belly star. They kept them away, never let them come near. That's how they treated them year after year. They got snubbed, they got snooted, their bottoms got booted, while the star-bellied sneeches all taunted and hooted. They just are not suited. No stars, stars upon bars. Then one day, it seems, while the plain-bellied sneeches were moping and doping alone on the beaches, just sitting there, wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger approached in the strangest of cars. My friends, I have seen they've been treating you mean. My name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean. I know precisely why you are so unhappy, and that I can fix. I'm the fix-it-up chappy. Prices are low, and I work with great speed.
100% guaranteed. By my new patent process of polar potoxis, of the inner subnuclear noose bomb nogoxis, you'll get a star like the star for the mere paltry payment of uh, $3 each. A star? Here? It's my friend, there. And the first to go through gets the trip at half fare. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> It works! Yeah! It works! It works! Them over there, they got stars upon bars. And we over here, we got stars upon ours. We got them all, so we got them too. For every little bitty bit as goody good as you. Now we're socially acceptable. Toast. You'll have to send us invitations to your Frankfurter roast. Stars, stars, bless our lucky stars. All the snitches on the beaches now got stars upon bars. Ladies and gentlemen, we are faced with a most awkward dilemma. We're the true star bellies. We had them first. We're still the best snitches, and they're still the worst. Yeah. yeah! But how are we going to prove it? Which is which? I can't tell us apart! Let me through, excuse me, step aside, please. Thank you. You don't know me, my friends, but calm down if you can. 